Chapter 2 GUI Operating System When you switch on the computer, which software loads very first on its own? The operating system. Yes, operating system loads on the computer as soon as we switch it on. Loading of operating system in computer's memory is called booting. There are various operating systems, namely Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc. We are using Windows operating system, so when you switch on the computer, Windows is seen on the monitor. Operating system An operating system is a software that helps us to use or work on the computer system. It manages and controls the different part of a computer system and makes them work together. It acts as an interface between the computer and us. We click on various options to do our work. There are various types of operating systems. Some examples of operating systems are as follows. First, MS-DOS. Second, Linux. Third, Mac operating system. Fourth, MS-Windows 10. MS-Windows. The MS-Windows is a popular operating system. It was developed by Microsoft Corporation USA. There are various versions of Windows, namely Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, etc. MS Windows displays a graphical user interface, GUI, which is easy to use. GUI is made of various graphical parts like Start button, icons, menus, and Taskbar, etc. Windows 10 Desktop Once the computer is started, the screen which appears on the monitor is called the desktop. Various components of a desktop are wallpaper, icons, taskbar. Let us discuss about these parts one by one. Wallpaper. The wallpaper is the background picture on the desktop. Icons. The small pictures on the screen are called the icons. Taskbar. This is a horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. Now, let us learn about the various parts of the taskbar. Start button. The start button is found on the left side of the taskbar. When we click on the start button, a menu appears which is known as the start menu. We can find and open all the programs from the start menu. Quick launch toolbar. The quick launch toolbar provides an easy access to our favorite programs. These programs can be opened in one click. Middle section. The middle section shows us the programs and files we have opened and allows us to quickly switch between them. System tray. The system tray is used to show the date and time and various other notifications. Open a window using the start button. Start menu contains the list of programs which are installed in the computer. To open a program, follow the steps as given here. Bring the mouse cursor over the start button and left click on it. The start menu appears. Click on Windows System and then click on This PC. The This PC window appears on the screen. Working with the desktop. Desktop displays icons over a colored background or a wallpaper in the background. Let us learn working with desktop icons. Working with desktop icons. Every icon on the desktop is for a program. The name of the program is written below the icon. For example, icon of this PC will look like a desktop computer and icon of recycle bin looks like a dustbin because it keeps deleted files. Some icons have a small curved arrow at their bottom which means they are shortcuts to the respective program. Let us learn about some operations which can do with desktop icons. Opening an icon. To open the program denoted by the icon, simply double click on that icon. Another way is that you right click on the desired icon and select open option from the pop-up menu. Moving icons. To move an icon, the steps are press left button on the desired icon. Keep the left button pressed and move the mouse. Icon will move with the pointer. Bring the pointer to the target location and release the left mouse button. Arranging icons. Arranging icons in an order is called 
sorting icons can be arranged in the following ways by their name icons will be arranged in the alphabetical order of their names by their types all the icons of same type will come together by their size icons will arrange in order of their size by the date icons will arrange in order of their opening date to sort the icons follow the steps given here go to the desktop and right click in any blank area in the pop up menu click on sort by option select the desired option to sort the icons setting up the wallpaper any image or design set on the desktop background is called wallpaper to set up the wallpaper follow the steps given here click on the start button then windows system then control panel click on appearance and personalization click on taskbar and navigation click on background and select picture option from background drop down select the required wallpaper for picture select the available pictures or click on browse to locate and select any picture you wish to set as background select desired picture position from choose a fit drop down for solid color select from the color palette or use custom color option setting up screen saver When your computer is not in use for some time an animated image appears on the monitor this is called a screen saver the steps to set up a screen saver are click on the start button then control panel then appearance and personalization then taskbar and navigation click on lock screen section scroll down and select screen saver settings Screen saver dialog box will appear. Click on the screen saver drop down and select the desired screen saver. Set the wait time. Click on OK button. For certain screen savers, you can click on settings button to apply additional settings. For example, for photo screen saver, you need to select the desired pictures on your computer or for 3D text, you need to specify the text color motion size and rotation speed etc working power options windows is designed to use the computer battery efficiently we can decide how windows must use the power supplied to the laptop for example we can decide that if the laptop is running on the battery then the intensity of screen should be dim after some time windows provides three options to conserve power balanced Windows automatically manages power consumption of the laptop. Power saver. Windows reduces performance of computer to save power. Computer may work slowly sometimes. High performance. Windows increases performance of computer and more power is consumed. The above power options can be changed as required. Click on the start button, then Windows system, then control panel. then appearance and personalization then hardware and sound then power options changing plan settings you can change following settings for your selected plan choose what the power buttons do here choose the function of power button and sleep button of your computer you can decide whether computer will shut down sleep hibernate or screen will turn off when to turn off the display Set time after which display should turn off or computer goes to sleep mode. Windows working mode. When you switch on the computer, several files of Windows operating system load in its memory. This is called normal mode of Windows. But sometimes all the files of Windows fail to load or get corrupted. You can still load Windows with essential files only. This is called safe mode of Windows. When Windows starts in safe mode, you can show the computer to the technician to fix the problem. So, safe mode is used to fix any problem with operating system. To start Windows in safe mode, follow the steps given here. Switch on the computer. As computer begins starting, press F8 key a few minutes. Advanced options menu opens. 
Using arrow keys, select safe mode and press enter key. Shutting down a computer. After the work is completed, computer needs to be shut down properly. To shut down the computer, you have to follow the given steps. Click on start button. Click on power button. Click on shut down option. Switch off the monitor. Switch off the UPS. Switch off the power switch.